This first tip makes an especially big difference because it can save you from getting overwhelmed and burning out. If you felt like the only way to successfully grow your business is to wake up at dawn and stay up until midnight, I've got good news for you. You don't have to. In fact, that's one of the biggest mistakes aspiring entrepreneurs make. I've been there because I've tried that, but I am not a morning person. When I wake up at five, I am grumpy, I am not alert, and I am not getting much done. Plus, I need eight to nine hours of sleep every night, otherwise I'm like a zombie. In my opinion, most people who like to talk about their superhuman work schedule are not telling you the full truth. Then how do we get things done without going insane? First of all, don't try to develop new productivity or sleeping habits. Building a business is hard enough on its own and learning that plus trying to change your habits is setting yourself up for failure. Instead, when you make the decision to work with the habits you already have, it completely changes the conversation. Because the question now is no longer, how do I find more time? How do I be more productive? How do I sleep less? But rather, how do I get the most out of the time that I do have? It's a lot more realistic and sustainable. And most importantly, it gets you focused and thinking. This way you're doing less overall, but you're using your time more wisely to do the things that matter most. So you're actually growing bigger and faster. For example, when I was starting my first online business, like most of us, I had a busy job. Some days I only had 30 minutes to work on my business. Since that's all I had, I applied the strategy and asked myself, what can I do in 30 minutes a day that is gonna make the biggest difference to growing my business? Business. This helped me realize I didn't need to do a lot of things that new entrepreneurs waste their time on. I didn't need a set of a website because I didn't know how to get people to a website or use a website to sell anyways. I also didn't need to set up systems or an automated email welcome sequence because again, I didn't even know how to use those things. That helped me realize that the only thing that was going to grow my business at that point was talking to potential clients which led me to realize that the best way to do that at the time was for me to be in Facebook groups. How does this help? You won't have to waste time trying to figure out what to do. You get right to doing the work and you won't get overwhelmed because you only have one thing to do. This way, you're able to get the best results and get clients faster. That's what happened to me because I was focused. This is one of the easiest ways to grow faster by doing less. You only do the things that make the biggest difference. But even with the best time management skills, it can sometimes feel like you're doing all the work yet getting no results. Having coached well over a thousand entrepreneurs, I have seen this a lot. One story I remember is when a new health coach came to me and said, I've been posting on my social media every day for months and it is just not working for me. I looked at her account and I noticed, even though she was being consistent and posting every day, over 90% of her posts were purely motivational quotes. The problem was that those quotes weren't attracting her ideal clients, letting them know about her expertise, or doing anything to help her sell her health coaching. Which is why even though she was checking it off her to-do list every day, the way she was doing it was a complete waste of her time. Unfortunately, this is a common mistake I see entrepreneurs make and I get it because you're learning so many new things. It can feel like I just want to get this thing done so I can move on to the next thing. Been there. But you know when you do something super fast just to get it done and it ends up being sloppy and then you end up having to do it all over again anyways? Sometimes it's better to spend a little bit more time so that you can get it right the first time, right? This is the same thing. Before you do anything in your business, first take a step back and figure out how can I do this in the best way to reach my goal? For example, with social media, your goal is to attract new potential clients and make sales. So you wanna be talking about topics that your ideal clients are interested in and sharing content that helps them get to know and trust you and grow their relationship with you. By the way, you don't need to overthink this. I am not saying to spend hours over analyzing everything before you do it. I'm talking about a quick and easy gut check that takes just a few seconds. That's all the reminder you need to think, Oh yeah, let me make sure I'm creating something that actually helps me grow my business. Here's a simple reframe that'll keep you focused so you get the best results from everything you do the first time around. Focus on the results, not the to-do. This also has another benefit, which will double how fast you grow. Because when you're focused on the result of what you're doing, what naturally happens is that you learn more and grow faster from everything you do. For example, again, using social media, every time I publish a post, I look back over it and evaluate the results. Did it do what I wanted it to do? Could I have done it better? Like one of my somewhat recent Instagram posts. This was one of my lowest performing posts in every way, but I was surprised because I thought it was really valuable. So I asked myself, how could I have done this better? And I even informally asked a friend, hey, why didn't you connect with this? She told me, 
I didn't really see the benefit of it for me. If you'd said something like, how to make sure that you, the reader, get a positive ROI on every investment you make, or how to make sure you never lose money on an investment in your business, then I would have been a lot more interested. Now I'm gonna make sure that my future posts make it clear what the benefit is for the person reading it. I'm breaking down the process so you can see how simple this is. I'm not overanalyzing my analytics or tracking all my numbers on a spreadsheet. People are surprised when I say this because I am an engineer by training, but honestly, I think that can get really overwhelming and this is all you need to start. Even more importantly, it'll make sure that you're able to keep on growing instead of getting stuck in analysis paralysis, which happens to way too many people. Plus, when you do it this way, you're able to grow really quickly because you're making sure that you never do the same thing twice. This way, every time you do something, it's slightly better than the time before, and that growth compounds really fast. High five to that. Speaking of compounding, there is a really powerful principle to follow that'll help you grow even faster. It's so powerful that Warren Buffett dedicated a separate section to it in his 2023 annual letter to shareholders, and he titled it The Secret Sauce. To quote some of that section, growth occurred every year just as certain as birthdays. The weeds wither away in significance as the flowers bloom. Over time, it takes just a few winners to work wonders. It's really poetic, but basically he's talking about how he invests in a few high quality things and then gives them time to grow. That's how he invested $1.3 billion in Coca-Cola stock. And now that investment is worth over 25 billion because he invested it in 1994 and then just gave it time to grow. If you can pick the right few things to work on and let them grow for you, that's how you're gonna get bigger and bigger results every year, simply because they're continuing to grow without you having to do more work. And like Buffett says, you don't even need to be right most of the time. You just need a few winners to succeed. That's how you get to have your business your way. For example, I made my first few million using Facebook ads, but the disadvantage with ads is that the moment you stop paying for it, the traffic stops. Whereas with SEO, you do the work once and it compounds over time, which is why I shifted to investing a lot more in SEO so that that can continue to grow. This applies to every aspect of your business. Invest your work so that it pays off for you now and continues to pay off for you in the future. These strategies helped me be so effective, I made 1.1 million in my first year in this business, but I also made a few massive mistakes along the way too. Watch this video to discover what I wished I'd done differently so that you can save yourself a lot of time and error and get to your first million faster.